Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I will be teaching you how to make sweet chutney with green grapes grown in our backyard. Uh, these grapes that I picked are uh, sour and they have seeds. I didn't want to throw them out and or wait for them to become sweet because some little critters will get to them. Before that I thought I'm going to make use of them and make green chutney. So I cleaned up all the grapes. I took them out of the stems, washed them thoroughly and here I have the clean grapes with the rest of the ingredients. I have green grapes that are around 10 cups of them and uh, with that uh, you can add the rest of these ingredients as shown here. I have one teaspoon of black pepper, I have fennel seeds, I have cumin, I have tamarind, I have dates, I have salt around five tablespoons of them, two pounds of brown sugar or you can add jaggery as well and then i have dry ginger powder onion powder garlic powder and chili powder one thing i forgot was coriander seeds i'm so sorry i forgot about the coriander seeds that will be around a tablespoon now i am dry roasting all the spices and here you go i'm adding my coriander seeds in there for the measurements please check the description box i would have given all the measurements uh, exactly uh, how much you should be using now once you dry roast them let it cool down and then we'll make a powder of them and now let us move on now i'm going to make a puree of the grapes the dates and the tamarind i want to make it of, into a fine paste because i don't didn't want the seeds and the skins to come apart nor i wanted to strain i have blended them into a smooth paste i'm adding it to the pot uh, along with that I'm adding five cups of water the water is optional if you don't want to add water that's fine but I would recommend adding at least a little water I like my chutney a little watery not too thick or not too thin so now I have added the water in here now I'm going to uh, add the rest of the ingredients to the pot here I've added the onion powder I'll be adding now uh, now I'll be adding the ginger powder and uh, I will be adding uh, garlic powder also. All these give a very nice uh, depth of flavor to the chutney. Um, and uh, I have also added um, all my uh, dry roasted spices that I made into a powder. I am so sorry that I forgot to show that in the video. You can add all the ingredients in there along with the salt. Once you add, give it a good stir. And at the, la the last one that I'll be adding in here is brown sugar. Uh, you can cut down on brown sugar or you can add even more brown sugar. It is up to you. Um, I like to add two pounds of brown sugar that will come up to around uh, two cups or I'm sorry, four cups of brown sugar, I think. If I'm correct now I'm giving it all a good stir closing the lid and turning on the stove to medium low so let it cook for an hour really well so please do not turn it on high because it can scorch down and get burnt so now you can see my grape chutney is boiling the color has changed it is beautiful uh, reddish brown color if you want to make it darker you can add food coloring i do not prefer to add any food coloring or preservatives this chutney is now done you can see no there is no foam on the top so it's done here you go it is delicious with chart or even as a dip I hope you all can try this out once and let me know. Thank you so much for watching friends. Bye bye.